and that's going to be that's going to merge with machines that are going to do the work not just the digital or digital work better than us but our physical work better than us and it's going to automate that process too and remove a bunch of labor as it does now that labor being removed isn't necessarily a bad thing if prices fell so that we could live our lives without without having to have high cost jobs having to make more money to be able to pay that uh, to have it need need a job but our existing financial system was wired exactly the opposite way it has 400 trillion dollars of debt now when i wrote the book it had 250 trillion dollars of debt but it has 400 and that's and remember that's only four years ago and it speaks to what i was worried about and what, what is coming true that 400 trillion dollars of debt as with the 250 before before it was already insolvent it is insolvent today and the only way to pretend it's solvent is to manipulate money to be able to create inflation to be able to pay back the debt in cheaper in cheaper dollars tomorrow and so why you have all policymakers saying we're going to get more jobs we're going to make more jobs and make prices rise as a result is what we're, we're trying to do is is not let that debt collapse because if you let that if you let deflation take hold from the existing system the the real cost of the debt explodes and and i'll give you an example why where is the money for taxes or to be, be able to pay back the debt from your calculator app on your phone right or from the photos you use today 